Thank you very much, sir. And thanks to City of Melville, Chiara and Laura for inviting me for today's inclusion forum. It's a great topic and very relevant in today's society. I'll be mostly speaking about the contributions of Fiava in this area. Before I do that, firstly, I too would like to acknowledge the traditional owners on whose land we conduct today's ceremonies. Next, I would like to introduce some of my committee members who are here. I have Sonarji. Uh, could you please stand up? Uh, she is the head of Fiava's domestic violence team. Ferozji, uh, could you please stand up? He is head of bereavement team and also the elders inclusions team. We conduct lots of programs for elders, community elders, to make, make sure they remain engaged with the community. And I have Merukji. Merukji, would you please stand up? She is in charge of all the cultural activities we do and the mega events that we do. I'll speak about those. One of them is the Australia Day and India Day, 26 January, which is a great coincidence. Please sit down. Thank you very much. And I'll be failing in my duty if I refuse to, if I don't acknowledge um, Minu, Minu, brother Minu. He was in my neighborhood watch committee. He retired a few years ago. Most of the people here uh, would have seen me in some way or the other in newspapers and and the City of Melville Communications as head of the Neighborhood Watch. So in this area, I'm generally known as the crime fighter and the, and the security man. But today's, today's topic is different. It's, a, it's the other volunteering that I do. I, so, but I'm very thankful Brother Minu is here today. Thank you, sir. You've been a great committee member. Ladies and gentlemen, I created FIAWA about five years ago. This top picture is, actually I didn't give it, they, as uh, was said recently, just a few minutes ago, it was picked up from the internet. I was head of the electrical department, chief engineer of the mighty aircraft carrier, after India took it over from England after the Falklands War. But that has been one of my most coveted uh, things that I've done in my life, and I'm very proud of that bit. This one? Which one is that? This one, yeah? All right, thank you. Now, this picture is from Fiava. So, I have uh, the Premier and my the current chair and the two deputy chairs. Both of them are um, also now members of the Office of Multicultural Team of the Minister. So, they all, we all work together to do exciting things in WA. Now, present, today's pre present, presentation is mainly going to be what is FIAWA, what FIAWA does for the community, why belonging to FIAWA is important to me, where and why do I volunteer and how this is added to my life, what inclusion means to me, and finally practical tips for people on how to be more inclusive. The FIAWA, which is actually the Federation of Indian Associations of Western Australia, was created about five years ago. It was created as an umbrella body to do those things which had never been done. Indians have been here in Western Australia for about 50 years. It was created to do those things like management of bereavement, management of domestic violence, social isolation of elders. Normally, we will find that an elder, all elders in all parties would be sitting in a corner, nobody talking to them. So to manage their welfare and also to manage the welfare of disabled and sick, such things were never done before. So we thought that we should create an organization to look after the, these areas. Now we have 66 member organizations that are representing different, different states of India or different, different cultures in India. FIAWA is also part of a similar network because all the states have similar, organ similar federations and we work together whenever there is some common area of interest where all of us should participate, we do that together. What FIAWA does for community and everything we do is all free for community. So many times I've been told why don't I charge five dollars or something 
um, for for various reasons. But um, I've, I've always felt whatever we do, let it remain very inclusive. That's our way of making sure it's inclusive. Those sections of the community and society who cannot afford, they should be able to approach us freely all the time and use our services. This is a list of things, bereavement, domestic violence, social um, management of social, social exclusion, which is actually now social inclusion, assistance of um, overseas students and new migrants. You'd be amazed to see so many students commit suicide when things like this happen to them, that they fail in the exam, they, they lose their small little job they had, and they don't know what to do, they, and they're kicked out from the tenant. So the, it is important that students are also looked after, just like new migrants. We do conduct regular games of badminton and golf, and we do high technology symposiums, regular dance classes, yoga classes, and so on. Why belonging to Fiawa is important to me? Now we have a team of experts in each area. Our motivation increases when, when we get comments like this. Um, see, the, these, some of these cases are so sensitive. Even if I told you the case, it will not be right for me. But uh, they equate us to God every now and then when their problem gets solved. Somebody had a hospital bill of $90,000. It was not his fault, but um, uh, somebody, uh, some doctor or somebody made a mistake. And, uh, and the reason is the bill eventually became $90,000. Whenever we help such cases, um, they really equate the management committee to God. So we feel very proud whenever we have a success like this. There are hundreds of success stories, but accordingly there are hundreds of challenges that we have faced. But we are very proud of what we do. In COVID, we ran five free food stalls for three months and to all um, elderly and, and all the people who are sick or, or impacted who could not help themselves in getting food or groceries, we, we actually did that for them. And, and also, um, when we found that we can, we, we also gave food to the doctors and nurses who were at hospitals. We actually took the packed food and also delivered there. The next slide is um, Fiawa Bereavement Services. Now this is, we have actually contracts and MOUs with the service providers because sometimes, now this is an area nobody wants to do anything about it. When people die, some, some community members cannot afford a funeral, so we will, we will do a little bit of fundraising and we'll make sure what, what we, whatever help we can provide. And also sometimes mm, the body has to be dispatched to India or some other country, so we will provide assistance in, in that area. <clears throat> now, the next slide is mm, the domestic violence. Now this is an area, unfortunately, not to be proud of. Out of the 300 odd cases in Western Australia, the police told me that 100 cases were Indians. So certainly not a thing to be very proud of, but we had to do something about it, we had to mani manage it. So we formed a team and the leader of our team is here, I just introduced to you. And uh, mm, basically, you, you can see, um, the, the police, we, are, we, we, are, we were represented by the police, the Department of Home Affairs, and all the leaders of the community, and the domestic violence victims. The, and the, the domestic violence victims normally don't like to come in front but in some cases they even made videos and they sent us the videos because they they felt so grateful uh, that the issues were resolved and, and they were helped now this is uh, yoga now for seniors we conduct yoga and laughter yoga to get involved seniors in various things um, is, is a new thing. Even seniors found that for so many years, for 50 odd years, there was nothing for them. So we, we've got several programs. We take them out for picnic. We conduct um, yoga. And one thing they enjoy is laughter yoga. You probably know that laughter yoga is just laugh for no reason. Ha, ha, ha. And all, all the community um, seniors and elders, they just enjoy that thing very much. Uh, 
and I, we also try to arrange a transport as much as possible so that um, in those cases um, where they cannot drive themselves, they can, they can participate. Now, this is a weekly uh, fitness class. Now, what is a fitness class doing in a community charity organization? Because lots of these people were mentally ill or, or people who were not, um, uh, who were alone in their families or, or people who, who didn't have any other activity to do. So we, we conduct these classes uh, absolutely free of cost and they're immensely popular. They've been attended by ministers and mayors. And we are very proud that um, um, they were, there was a time when we had five mental health people from hospital and their five carers who were attending these classes. So these classes are, you can see, they are very popular and we, in fact the hall didn't have enough space. So we had to go to a bigger hall. This is a thing which you call India Day. Now India Day is a chance for all the 66 organizations, all the member organizations to participate and showcase their the cultures of different different states and different cultures. Now this is <coughs> the one which I mentioned to you about COVID. We provided food from five different outlets and uh, we, we made sure that anybody who needed any kind of help in terms of um, buying groceries or food was helped at that time. Now this is the great uh, Australia Day and India, India Day, uh, Indian Republic Day together. Now this is a great coincidence in, in, in Australia and in India that 26 January is a national day for both countries. So we obviously celebrate this and we, we uh, celebrate in terms of flag hoisting of both countries and also uh, all cultural items and, and fusion items particularly wherever uh, things we can fuse the Western culture into the Indian culture, those sort of items we, we promote more. And also Aboriginals, we, we, we had this time we had three Aboriginal items along with the Indian items. Uh, this is just one of those dances at the same event. The, this is the Aboriginal participation. So we did uh, learn as much as possible uh, and we danced and participated along with the Aboriginals. And we do this every year, on every 26th January. Now, where and why do I volunteer? Volunteering has brought meaning and purpose to my life while increasing my self-esteem and well-being. Volunteering has often relieved me of stress and possibly depression. Volunteering has had positive impact on my community and earned me a lot of respect with great all-round relationships. Volunteering has given me tremendous sense of achievement. In Neighborhood Watch, I have reduced crime by 26%. It's a university statistics. In Prostate Cancer Foundation, I have raised awareness and funding to achieve better support for sick and suffering. I am um, Prostate Cancer Foundation's ambassador. Uh, I was nominated ambassador as last year after 13 years of um, campaigning. In Fiava, I have effectively and directly managed bereavement, isolation, domestic violence, elder abuse and migrant problems. There are several other organizations where I play service role or leadership role as I had dedicated my life to community work some years ago. What social inclusion means to me? The social inclusion has been well defined so I won't go through all that. It can be due to any reason somebody is disabled or somebody doesn't know a particular language or somebody is too old or somebody is is, is from a different culture which doesn't match with your culture. There can be several reasons for social inclusion. In my life, I try to encourage social inclusion at all levels. Whether it is making more members of Yava or getting more communities to participate at my temple, the magnificent Perth Hindu temple, that's my biggest achievement, I would say, in, in Western Australia. Um, I led the construction and consecration of the 
magnificent Perth Hindu temple in Canning Vale. If you get a chance, please have a look at it. The stone carving is absolutely out of the world. I get more seniors to join my yoga or laughter yoga and, and create disabled facilities like recently I modified or rather I facilitated modification of, of the temple hall so that the disabled wheelchair could come in there. And of course, charity always begins at home. Um, I've, I've been looking after my, um, my wife, visually handicapped wife, who was declared legally blind 23 years ago. But she still, for everything, she comes along with me and she participates in all the events wherever I volunteer. Practical tips. How to be more inclusive. Um, so this, but this will apply to different places in, in different, different ways. But it's obvious that when you look after elderly, disabled and sick, you automatically create respectful activities and events for them. The elderly need our help in organizing a safe bus, food, and they'll happily come along anywhere. So as long as the bus will pick them up from a suitable spot where they can either drive themselves or their son or daughter could drop them, and, and we have organized food for them. I, we took one bus to York. Last time we took one bus to Banbury. And the in charge was Firozji, who is sitting, a committee member who is sitting here. So they would be absolutely happy to jump in and come along and participate. It's just that somebody has to take the right kind of safe initiative. But our biggest strength lies in the fact that all our activities are absolutely free, including migrant assistance, domestic violence, Student help, free food, free dancing, free yoga, free picnics, and so on. This is a big factor in getting people together, as the weaker sections of the society do not need to spend big dollars for inclusion. All the help, service, and fun is provided at no cost, with help from grants and sponsors. My last, last advice to all volunteers is whatever you do, Never forget to have fun yourself. That, that's more important. Because whenever you do things for other people, it's, it's very important that you look after yourself also in terms of your health and in terms of your family's health. And you always be very considerate to your team, team members. But at the same time, never forget you yourself are very important and you must Always look after yourself first, enjoy yourself, have fun. Thank you and God bless. <laughs>